Yo, what is going on guys? Crypto Kid here coming at you guys again with another video guys. Today we're going to be talking about quite a few things, quite a few different coins, uh, mainly Ethereum, Chainlink, maybe a little XRP, Tezos, and then Orchid. If you guys want to stick around, I'll talk a little about Orchid, which is a very small market cap coin that you could potentially make some big gains with. So make sure to stick around for that. But guys, if you haven't already, go ahead hit that subscribe button. We're coming up on 1.5 thousand subscribers. Let's try to hit that with this one video, guys. So by the end of the day today, let's try to get to 1,500 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, please do me a favor and hit that red button. Let's get into it. So right now, Ethereum has made a huge move, guys, up almost 8% on the daily chart. Uh, according to Coinbase, it's up 10.77%. Um, on the hourly, it's down 1%. On the weekly, up 11%. And on the monthly, up 83.4%. Almost at $450. Let's see what it peaked out at, guys. Right around that $450 mark. Yep, $445. Pretty crazy move from Ethereum, given how high its market cap already is. A lot of money just came into Ethereum. I'm not sure if that was institutional money or not. I believe it was. I think that once retail comes in, it's going to go even higher. But I think Ethereum is looking like it's going to have quite a strong year, guys. Even though the market cap is already pretty crazy, I think it's going to go even higher. Like I said, I think by the end of the year, it's going to be at least half of Bitcoin's market cap. So stay tuned for that, guys. Get yourself a bag of Ethereum, one of the best investments you can make inside of cryptocurrency right now because of the technology and because of the fact that it is so safe compared to a lot of the other altcoins. So now XRP, guys, quick update. Finally made another move today, up 8.5%. Definitely missed out on the little bull run we've been having the past few days. It kind of just sat at 28 to 30 cents, but then today it definitely recovered a little bit, up almost 10%. So that's good news, obviously, if you're an XRP holder. Chainlink, guys, just seen a little bit of correction. I can't go up forever. Um, if you guys saw, Dave Portnoy uh, made a video with the Winklevoss twins. If you haven't, go ahead and look that up, guys. Really good, really funny interview. And I think he bought a lot of Chainlink, and I think a lot of his followers ended up buying a lot of Chainlink. Uh, it sparked some excitement. People bought in, but the price is definitely coming down a little bit now. So we'll see if some of that excitement comes back. I do think it's going to end up hitting $20 before it does see a major correction. Um, I'm not sure how low it will dip once that major correction comes. But nonetheless, guys, Chainlink has been an incredible investment in 2020. It's still up 63% on the week and 133% just about on the month. So if you're a Chainlink holder, guys, chances are you're still pretty happy. Uh, Litecoin's finally making a little bit of a move. It's been pretty stable. Uh, Tezos down 4%, sitting at around $4. But guys, just like Chainlink, if you're a Tezos holder, you're not sad with this because of the gains you've been making, 25% on the week and almost 40% on the monthly. But guys, I do think Tezos still has a lot of room to grow. I'm going to be buying up a little bit of Tezos here. I'm just kind of waiting for the price to dip. I think I sold out at like 424 or something. Came back in at 407 uh, like halfway, and now I'm probably going to come in with the other half once it dips below $4. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, we're going to go over to Orchid. We're going to talk about that a little bit, give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that. A couple of you have been asking for it. I haven't talked about it in a while. It's because my opinions changed a lot on Orchid. But given that it just made a major move in the hour, up 9% and up 21% on the day, figured I'd talk about it again. So guys, basically, I've been talking to quite a few people, both in the comment section, on Twitter, all these different things about Orchid. The reality is, guys, it's not that great of a product yet. It could have a future because it is like a VPN service um, that runs on the Orchid token. So there could be a future for it if the VPN service took off, like the app. Um, but who knows, guys? There's definitely some better better VPNs out there right now. Personally, I've looked up Orchid and I personally use the app. It's pretty clean, um, but there's all. It's just it's a little too expensive for my liking at the moment. I think that the prices need to come down a little bit before the technology really starts making an impact. But I think in the future, once people kind of keep shifting towards privacy, uh, things like Orchid and like the basic attention token and Brave, um, they're going to start to see some upwards price movement from that, guys. But we know that a lot of cryptocurrency is just pure speculation. And given that the market cap is still so low at $15.4 million um, compared to some of the other tokens on here, which are hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, it looks like, uh, like Orchid still has a lot of room to grow. I still believe that it can 10x relatively easy, and I think it will in the next bull run. Um, we haven't seen any sort of institutional money coming into Orchid. Uh, it's just mainly been Orchid Labs and Coinbase pumping the price. Um, as we've seen, not a lot of natural price movement. So hopefully once this bull run comes and more Coinbase users 
are logging on, orchid price will kind of start to make a little upwards move. I think that will eventually come. Uh, but right now, guys, I'm going to hold off on buying orchid until it sees a little bit of a correction. I think this is just a quick little pump and dump. But definitely, definitely, guys, this is not financial advice, just my opinion. I think that everyone should have at least a small little bag of orchid because a 10x is so possible, maybe even 100x in the future if the technology starts to pick up. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what coins you guys are looking at right now. Those are a few of the ones that I'm into at the moment. Once again, I think Tezos is going to start to make a move up towards Chainlink, hopefully capturing the number six or seven spot. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what coins you're investing in right now, what you're excited about. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.